My name is William Desmain, uh, Bull Creek Welding and Fab, uh, Bull Creek Outdoors. Uh, we manufacture the Game Changer trap line. Uh, this is our Game Changer Junior. So I'm here with Front Burial today. We're going to set this thing up step by step. So uh, when we get this thing out in the field, everybody know what to do. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get away from, uh, get away from the truck. Uh, this thing deploys to the driver's side, so you just want to keep that in mind whenever wherever you go to set it up. Most of the time where you've been pre-baiting should be in this area right here. It's going to set up about a 28 foot diameter, so keep that in mind in case there's trees or anything in the way. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and undo these straps. If you would, Mike, help me. After we get the straps undone, uh, this thing has three jacks, one for the front, the back, and underneath the frame here is what we call our helper jack. So basically we want to extend those all the way up, all the way out. Mike, if you'll get that one extended out. Just pull this one out uh, about two and a half foot or something and go ahead and jack it all the way up. So at this point this thing's ready to slide across this frame. Uh, so just one or two people can get right here in the middle and just put your weight into it. It's on a track system series of rollers so it should just, just slide right across. Uh, once you get to it bottoms out just get right here in the middle. and pick up so it's pretty well counterbalanced right now uh, so it's not not real heavy to to get up then you want to use this helper jack to lower it back down so at this point these feet that's underneath this hinge panel here, it's gonna help support it. So uh, we're able to take this jack up in the back. So you can just slide this in and leave it down uh, just to get it out of the way. So all your pins are located up in this, this box here. This is going to store uh, all your pins and it's also where the battery and the charge controller is stored. So normally if it's me and another guy setting this up, I'm going to grab two pins on this side. Mike, if you would go around the other. And the first place that we're going to pin it is going to be to this hinge panel. And if the, this first one is hard to pin at the top, don't worry about it right now. Uh, once we get the weight off the trailer, we'll, we'll be able to pin it at the last. Just remember when you're setting this up, the welded wire is always to the inside. So the pigs, wherever they hit it, they're gonna be pushing against this wire. So this is our, our gate. Uh, this is gonna be the heaviest part about the trap. So normally what we do is get out here like this and we'll turn it to the side. Turn it all the way up. No, no. There. That way you're not tripping over it and it's a little bit easier to carry. Also when you're putting your pins, make sure to put the, the angle piece going to the outside. That way a pig couldn't catch this and knock them out. So as you're setting this thing up, you can kind of judge. Uh, I'd rather have it long than wide. So this is about right, right here. This one should be back square, kind of with, with your hinge panel here. 
So if anything's real out of whack, you can kind of make adjustments as you go. So with every trap uh, comes a walkthrough panel. So the access to trap, uh, if you would, don't we don't ever recommend going underneath the gates once we get them raised up uh, for putting bait out, for dragging hogs out, uh, going inside out the trap. Always use that walkthrough gate. So when you go to put bait in here, um, what, the way that we like to bait is basically like feeding cows. We want to create a a row right here of corn uh, that does a couple of different things. One, it gets these pigs in here, gets them toward the center of your trap. It gets them all lined up in front of your camera. That way you can really count each one, see where they're all at. Uh, like I said, it gets them away from your gates. Uh, when, when you go to drop this trap, you know, a lot of times if a pig is right here and he's looking outward, I probably wouldn't drop in that circumstance. Uh, if he's right here and his butt's facing you, I wouldn't worry about that and it'd be fine to drop. The solar panel here. What you want to do is to be able to rotate this thing around uh, toward the south. So the next thing we're going to do is we'll go ahead and run our wires and then we'll get set up our camera. So all your wires are located here. The yellow wire ends up going to your camera. So we'll just uncoil it and just kind of get it out of the way. So each one of these black wires goes to each one of your gates. It's to be able to drop that latch electronically. So we'll just uncool kind of how much we think we need for this side. And we do provide some quick clips. These quick clips can be left on here. Uh, it's just an easy way to be able to attach this wire. Most time, I mean, I always just get it up high. That way, uh, nothing grabs a hold of it. Uh, the main thing, just make sure to run the wire on the outside. The wire should never go on the inside of this gate at all. So this latch, it's a sealed connection that snaps in place. So just make sure whenever you plug it up that it clicks all the way. And whenever you want to unplug it, it's got a little deal on here on top that you just push and come, comes unplugged easily. So we've got that run, everything's run now. So next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get our uh, cellular antenna up. It's a directional antenna and get our camera mounted. It is all right. Uh, this box is stout enough. If you need to climb up around it to be able to get high enough to be able to attach like the antenna, you can do that. Mount your directional antenna on this top pole. That way you can uh, loosen this and twist it any which way that you need to. There's a app we like to use called Open Signal, and uh, depends what version you have, but a lot of times it'll, it'll point you directly toward the tower. So I believe this is a, a Verizon modem. So if you got a Verizon phone, a lot of times it'll get you pointed in the right direction. Or if you know kind of whereabouts, you know, the nearest antenna is, do your homework a little bit beforehand. Uh, a good rule of thumb on this antenna. Uh, so keeping this in mind whenever you're pre-baiting is if you walk out there and on your cell phone, you've got one bar of LTE, you'll be plenty fine with this. Anything less than that, 
Uh, it may skip a little bit, may be a little bit harder to get up. You know, if there's no signal whatsoever, it may or may not work there. I mean, this thing does really good getting, I mean, basically it's a booster, but uh, if there's no cell phone signal, there's just nothing we can do about it. Uh, but a good rule of thumb is that one to two bars of LTE. So this is just this little spring pin here. So use this set bolt right here, lever. That way you can rot rotate it around in place. And this is how you raise it up. So a lot of times uh, after you plug this up, it's going to take anywhere from say five to seven minutes for it to boot up, find itself, and uh, might get to where you can pull up your phone. Uh, one of the first things we'll do whenever we get this thing pulled up is we want to test fire our latches. Underneath here, uh, this rotary latch, just push it until it clicks all the way up and it'll lock itself in place. So we use these little quick clips and chains. Um, I'll show you how to do it if you're by yourself. So the first thing we want to do on this chain link down low, just go ahead and click it. And then if I got one knee down and one knee up, just pick it up, set it on your knee, and then you can kind of pick it up with your knee, uh, your elbow on your knee, then you can kind of raise up and down with your toe. And just click it right in place. If this gate uh, is in a bind because of unlevel ground, whatever, uh, you may need to take a stick or something and shove it underneath one side, and a lot of times I get it to where it's loose. If it gets in the bind, there's a chance that the gates might, may not drop whenever you go to drop it. 